AI. LegaFest is a data version control system at scale that enables managing data like code. First, I will start by importing data in a zero clone import that keeps the data in place and is highly performant into my LegaFest repository. Once I've done that, I can start interacting with the data the same way that I always had by accessing a specific branch or a commit identifier, for example, my main production environment. Now I can create a separate branch, i.e. copy in a zero clone copy my production environment to an isolated experiment branch. If I query that branch, I will of course get the exact same results as what I had before. I have not copied anything. As a matter of fact, if I look at LegFS, I will see two branches pointing to the same reference commit. But even though I didn't copy anything, I did achieve isolation. So if I go and I run my ETL now in isolation, for example, I'll filter out some uh, reviews and I will repartition the data. All of this will be done in my experiment branch and my experiment branch only. So whoever goes and looks at the production branch, my users, they don't see anything different. But in my experimentation branch, I have these new additional files that of course are not committed yet, just like Git. I can review all the changes. I can choose to roll back, revert, or reset them, or I can commit the changes. And together with the commit, I can add some useful metadata, for example, the code version that was used to create this. Now that I committed my changes, I can review all the new data sets. And at any point, I can go to any individual file or data set and see the blame functionality of that file. What, who committed it? In what commit? What other files were created as a part of that commit? What code? helped create this data set. And of course, I can go to the parent commit and see what was the data set like before this data was creating using that code. So notice I'm no longer looking at a specific branch, but I'm looking at a specific commit identifier. And now that I have two branches that are pointing to two separate commit, I can compare between those branches and I can promote the data by merging my experimentation branch into my main branch in an atomic action.